Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video will be discussing fructose metabolism. So a main source of fructose is from sucrose, which is a disaccharide. And sucrose itself consists of glucose and fructose. Another point to note is the entry of fr fructose into the cell isn't insulin dependent, so it's not insulin dependent. So fructose doesn't promote insulin secretion. Glucose, on the other hand, is insulin dependent. So high levels of glucose in the blood promotes insulin secretion. This is because it's detected by the beta cells of the islets of Langerhans, which respond to the high blood glucose levels by secreting more insulin into the blood. For fructose to enter the metabolic pathway, it first must be phosphorylated. So this means the addition of a phosphate group. The enzyme which is responsible for fructose phosphorylation in fructose metabolism is fructokinase. And fructokinase is found in the liver, kidney, and the small intestine mucosa. Here we have the reaction of fructose into fructose 1-phosphate. So the enzyme used is fructokinase, and the phosphate group comes from ATP. So ATP is converted into ADP, and the phosphate group is added onto fructose to form fructose 1-phosphate. Now, once we have fructose 1-phosphate, it must be cleaved by aldolase B to form trioses known as dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde. So there are three types of aldolases found in the human body. We have aldolase A, B and C. Aldolase A is found in most of the tissues and it cleaves fructose 1,6-bisphosphate to dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. We also have aldolase C, which is found in the brain, and it cleaves fructose 1,6-bisphosphate to dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Aldolase B is what we use for fructose metabolism, and it's found in the liver. Only aldolase B cleaves fructose 1-phosphate. Dihydroxyacetone phosphate then enters glycolysis, or can also enter gluconeogenesis, and the glyceraldehyde which is formed can be metabolized by the following mechanisms. Glyceraldehyde is converted into glycerol via the enzyme alcohol dehydrogenase. While this is occurring, NADH is converted into NAD+. Glycerol is then converted into glycerol phosphate via the enzyme glycerol kinase, and the phosphate group comes from ATP, so ATP is then converted into ADP. Glycerol phosphate can then be used to synthesize phosphoglycerides and triglycerides. And the dihydroxyacetone phosphate can be converted into glycerol phosphate via glycerol phosphate dehydrogenase. And then again, this can be used to form phosphoglycerides or triglycerides. And the final point we're going to make today is the fructose metabolism is faster than glucose metabolism because the trioses dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde formed from fructose 1-phosphate bypass the phosphofructokinase 1-rate-limiting step of glycolysis. That's everything we're going to discuss today on fructose metabolism. Thank you very much for watching.